Right. Welcome back. 8.25 a.m. Friday. Text going on right now. What time does first session start? Don't, don't even know. Uh, that's rad. Got all these global time attack guys here, so there's gonna be some kick ass fucking cars. Um, we walked around for a minute. Forgot the GoPro. Forgot the GoPro, so. Well, it was more of my purpose because the light was awesome, so we were taking good photos. Right. Anyway. So. I don't know. Busy day today, tomorrow, and Sunday. The horse head. Look at the cow head over there. I'd rather it be busy, anyways. Right? Yeah. A lot of the rad cars, really, really rad cars, really went through tech. Mm hmm. Look at that. Spec fit. There's a few cars we gotta show you guys, though. There's some really rad shit you gotta see. Assuming what? Assuming the Alice is not in a mid mid ship. Yep. One thing you notice here, the elevation change. I'm walking up a pretty steep grade right now. The paddock's down there. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's really steep. Like, like I feel like I'm standing at a pretty heavy angle right now doing this. We're in uh, general camping right now for spectators and there's already people filing in and it's not even nine in the morning on the first day of the event. That's some commitment right there. Here's the S's. First turns down that hill there, you can't see it, but first left hand of the S's, the right hander at the top of the hill, and then downhill. You can see the, the track keeps going that way. Should be legit, can't wait. I want to go out there so bad. I think when it comes to this facility, it is so huge and everything's so far apart that we're gonna have to spend part of the day on one side of the track and then go to the other for the rest of the day or vice versa. Because there's no way we'd be able to hike back and forth multiple times in one day. I mean, I'm just, I'm at like, I'm in, the S's are right on the other side of this tree line over here. So I'm barely into the first sector of the track and this is what I have to walk through. This hill is insane. I guess I'm just used to tracks in the Midwest where everything's, well, everything except for mid-Ohio is just flat as shit. I mean, Gingerman has a little bit of elevation change, but nothing like this. Nothing, nothing like this where the, the cars have to go through this steep of an elevation change also to get up to the second part of the course. Like, if you've ever played it on video games or anything before and not been here before, they do not do it justice. The video game kind of video games kind of flatten everything's out. 
makes everything look like it's on the same plane. Sure, I'm sure they have the elevation change in the game, but you don't really notice it because you don't feel the sensations of going up and down the hill with a positive and negative G as you gain and lose altitude. But look at this. This is, okay, let me back up here. Right here by this creek is basically flat ground. That is what you have to walk up. Up there is where that wood comes out of the forest. Nuts. All right. Basically at the highest point of the track right now. There's the back side of the course. There's the back straight going that way. And there's the S's from the other angle. Took forever to hike out here. This is not something you could do in a short amount of time. If I had like a pit bike, maybe. But like I said earlier, see there's the general emission camping. I don't know if you can see the cars way out there, parked up on the hill. There's, <clears throat> there's a skid pad. It was one of the other bathroom camping tent area things. A little gazebo here. Kick ass view of the S's. God, I just, I half the time I think I'm just gonna sit and watch. I can't imagine what it's like to watch a sports car race here when there's 50, 60 cars driving around here. Damn. Like I said earlier, video games do this track no justice. Like you can't even see the bottom of the S's from where I'm standing right now. They just disappear behind the hill. It's insane. All right, well, we get our, dri our, not driver's meeting, our media meeting here in like an hour and 40 minutes and it might take all of another half an hour to hike back to our pit, to my, to the, to my camera gear, and then a few more minutes and <clears throat> a little bit more hiking to get to the tower, which is on the complete other fucking side of the track on the front straightaway. Time attacks got there. First time attack practice session of the weekend. They're all going out, getting their preliminary laps in, getting their setups down, just taking some pictures. Damn, that thing's fast. Almost noon, like 12.51. It's already hot as bulls. We're, we're hiking out to the big bowl area in the horseshoe. Oh, really? I thought we were going to the S's. Oh, well, okay, we'll go to the S's first. We'll hike out to the S's. It's hot as balls. What's hilarious though is that the people from Atlanta are complaining about how hot it is. So it's like, they're like, it's not, it's not normally this hot. And we're like, yeah, fuck you guys. Yeah, right? Some of the paddock. Just got done with the media meeting. Got our nice blue got our IMSA, sick IMSA vests. Got our nice blue IMSA vests. Okay. So what we've been doing this whole time is we set out a list of challenges. Challenge accepted. Challenges for us to do since we're in the dirty, dirty south. Uh, things like eat at a place that serves grits. Pay some poor girl to uh, read the menu to us in a legit southern accent. Yep. So we did that. Yep. 
So that's two things. We we ate place of service grits, ate a pl- ate, paid a uh, poor waitress to read the menu to us in the poor southern waitress. accent. Not not poor as in like money, but poor as in like we feel bad for. Her. Yeah. Um, feel bad because we're making a read the fucking act back to the menu. Um, what else what did, we, did we check off? I don't know. That's about it. Oh, we got free stuff. Got a oh, free cup free... buddy. Oh, yeah. We got we got two get. We got gallons of sweet tea. So we got two of them. Yep. We've already about killed one of them. I got a free hat from the Waffle House. Right. Uh, called Lots of Dibs. Called Lots of Dibs. Lots I think dibs. we're... The well, reason I we're introducing or this now is that we just came up with a new challenge. Is that's we got to take a picture of Chuck with every 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 hot chick here. Every chick that Could be is Ma- Dibs called. models or uh, Dibs called, and then we're gonna put those in the vlog, maybe. Yeah, which means I gotta creep on every. Right, which means the Dibs, dibs is here. the Dibs game got serious. So we gotta do that. What else we gotta do? We gotta if I eat it at a place that serves uh, collard greens. Collard greens gotta find collard greens. Collard greens. Uh, we got to. Somebody's got to try and race us on the highway when we're pulling the truck. Yep. And uh, so, speaking of random stuff, I'm not gonna walk over there because I'm not wearing shoes right now because it's hot as balls out here. But there are two IS 300 wagons right there parked next week. There, dude. Do you see that? Those IS 300s right there are cruiser spooning. What are they like? You know what cruiser spooning is? That's when two cops pull up next to each other. Oh, like, like, door, like driver's door to driver's door. That's called like, cruiser spooning. Like, like hard parking. But, sort of. But for faggots. But for fag, <laughs> yeah. So, we're gonna work on this challenge now. That's the new. That's what we're gonna do. Derek's out there shooting. He's kid racing. So, yeah. I'm gonna go get pictures of me and every hot chick. Every hot chick. We're. Uh, I think we need to add something to the list, and that is get caught by speaking in a fake accent. I don't think it's gonna happen. I think I got this covered. Buddy. You got it down? You got got the accent down? Yeah, I do, buddy. Okay. So if we get caught, there's gonna be a problem. But if we don't, I gotta go get my baseball chainsaw. Baseball chainsaw. Four defender in the oil cleanup for time. Three forty torque. I'm bad. Try to follow me. You made about. So this is a a really rad IS three hundred. QJ. Pretty big turbo. Pork burner. We're talking to the guy right now, at least Chuck is, about putting the, uh, building one of these wings for the Dub RX. We'll see how that goes. I didn't catch any of that, but. Scared me for a second. How was me doing it? Yeah, I was like, ah. Uh. <laughs> I been, we're not doing this today. I have an emergency fuel cut off right here, too. Just in case. Oh my god. Is your car here? Oh, do one more, one more test fire. Sure. Okay.
baby, pull me closer in the 